feeling irritable and hard to get along with others when you're under stress is a very common symptom of adrenal fatigue. This is Dr. Lam, founder of drlam.com. In this video, we will explore some of these concepts behind what controls irritability and how your irritability scale can go up if you're under stress. Now, the body has a built-in stress mechanism when exposed to stress. Now, stress can be physical, such as overexertion, or increase in exercise beyond what your body can tolerate, or stress can be emotional, such as a toxic relationship. When either one of these are happening on a prolonged basis, the body's adrenal system takes a beating and it works over time. The reason is because the adrenal glands is ultimately responsible for anti-stress hormones to be made in order to overcome stress. Now, the more stress you have, the more hard the adrenals will have to work. If over the years things don't get better, then eventually the adrenal system can get weaker and weaker. And when this point happens, the body will have no choice in order to survive is to start slowing down. And metabolisms will slow down, gastric assimilation will slow down, liver function may slow down, and brain fog will increase. The body will then release, as a last resort, the hormone called norepinephrine. And this hormone circulates in the brain. And this hormone is responsible, on one hand, to keep us survival by making us alert. It also keeps us on the edge. And that's why many street drugs use this principle to enhance mental function but at the same time, it also causes people to be anxious, jittery, and in severe cases, it can generate what we call panic attacks. So being irritable is a early, early sign of a fight or flight response being activated by the body. It is only one out of many, many steps that the body has to help us, to guide us, and to basically warn us of impending dangers inside. So there are many things you can do to basically tone down the sympathetic nervous system, which is ultimately responsible for the norepinephrine release. Things like uh, adrenal breathing exercise that are specially designed uh, to do that can be very, very helpful to you. I have an article uh, in my website uh, on this particular matter, uh, and then you can visit and read as well. The ability to deal with this is critical because when you are irritable, the people around you are not going to be, um, excuse me, are not going to be happy. So focus on how to rebalance the hormone will allow the body to reduce the irritability. It will also allow the body to rebalance its adrenal system. So when you look at the people who are having easily irritability from stress, recognize that this is actually an early sign of adrenal fatigue syndrome. And knowing that, you can take immediate steps from lifestyle issues to a better diet to help you reduce that anxiety and that irritability. Taking some naps, uh, staying away from toxic relationships, getting away from situations when you feel that you have this problem are uh, all things that you can do. And the first step is to recognize that this is a warning sign. I hope you've enjoyed this video. For more information on this topic, head over to drlam.com where I have written over a thousand articles to help educate people. You can also call me at 626-571-1234 for more information on adrenal fatigue and how to navigate it. Finally, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.